Hey guys, and welcome to a video on bartering in Black Desert. So in this video, I'll be going over how to barter, what is bartering, and how to make silver as a brand new barterer. So for anyone that doesn't want to watch the full video, the basics of it is you press M, you go down to the bottom, which brings up the barter search, and you can see all your current barters that are available. Go to white grade, and you will see stuff like grilled bird meat or essence of liquor, which are called T0 items, which you can trade for level one or T1 items. You can do this six times for T0 to T1 item. So get a nefarious sailboat, go and uh, trade six times. Return to port, and a nefarious sailboat is best because it has 5,000 weight, and six of these is 4,800 weight. So you'll do that until you have a number of barters, usually a couple hundred, which will unlock more barter routes. And then you're also gonna want to earn a nefarious caravel. Got a video coming out on that soon, so stay tuned. Once you have enough barters and a fairy caravel, feel free to start doing more routes, as well as expanding into T2, T3, T4, and especially T5 barters. You make money by trading in T5 barters, which are these orange things, uh, to any shop really, for five million silver apiece, or you can also trade them in for sea coins uh, by heading way out east, and you can do it here and all along the straight down to Hakovin Island. Sea coins, or crow coins as they're now called, are traded into Ravinia over at Crow's Nest, way over here. Uh, and she can give you stuff such as Khan's Heart or other stuff such as Manus Accessories, which is how you make money with bartering. Now then, for the full guide. First off, what is bartering? Bartering is the newest life skill added in fall of 2019 with the Great Ocean Update. It is trading, but at sea, and without the use of stuff such as a worker empire, instead you just get some basic land items such as grilled bird meat, which you can see over here, and you trade it in at the various islands from your boat for T1 items. Then you trade T1 items into T2 items, uh, so you can see a T1 item here for T2 item, and then T2 to T3, and so on and so forth, all the way up to T5, which can then be traded for sea coins or you can just sell them for five million silver a piece. That's how you make most of your money. Now, bartering is pretty simple, but a lot of players are a little scared of it because it takes a bit of uh, investment to pull off. First off, you're going to want at the very least a nefarious sailboat. A nefarious frigate can do, however, because a nefarious frigate only has 4,000 max weight instead of 5,000, you will not be able to do six T0 to T1 barters without going overweight, which will make your early bartering much more of a pain. Uh, the Gallius, which is what I'm using, is similar because it has a max weight of 8,000 and I've got some really nice equipment on it, so I'm at 10,900. But the Caravel, which is upgraded from the sailboat, starts at 10,000 and with the same gear on would be at 12,900 right now. So Caravel is much better for pure bartering. Now, as I alluded to earlier, beginning as a barterer is really about getting your sailboat and just going around and doing the T0 to T1 barters. This is because you start off with only a single barter route. However, you unlock more barter routes by increasing your total number of barters. So when you press M and go to your barter search down here, these two arrows pointing against each other, you can see the total number of barters you've ever done. And this is per barter. Some barters like this one are one barter item for two other barter items. However, that only counts for one barter each time you do it, and you can do it four times. So if you did that, you'd get eight teacups if you did all four times, but you'd only get an extra four barters. So the more barters you get, the more routes you get. And you get routes uh, every so often. I think my most recent route was at 5,111 barters, which unlocked, I believe, my 11th route. And also unlocks, uh, that's a pretty key number for if you want to go for the Nefaria Carrick, because that's what unlocks brilliant rock salt ingots and brilliant pearl shards as available barters. So, to start with bartering, you grab your sailboat, you start doing these T0 to T1 barters. They're all pretty simple. They're all nearby to Aferia, Port Aferia, and to Velia. They're on these pretty, these islands that are really close uh, to the uh, coast and down over here. And you, do, you knock out those barters, get a few barter routes, and look for as many T1 items as you can because you need the T1 items in order to get a caravel or a Gallius. While you're doing that, you can also look to do T1 to T2 barters. And so T1 to T2 barters are a little further away. Uh, they're up in places like this. You can see, so you've got the T1 dried blue rose, which can trade for two Islanders lunchbox. You've got the giant fishbone for two Cron Castle gold coins. 
You've got one naval ration for one pirate ship mast. Uh, over here, you've got one opulent marble, so not really very good. Uh, you can get up to three at once. Not sure if there's any that are one for three right now. But the most you can get, oh yeah, there's one. So you can get uh, one ancient urn piece for three supreme oyster box. And those are really the ones you're looking for because that's the most valuable. Uh, and then for green grade, it's the same. You can do four green grade trades. You can only do two T1 to T2 trades at once, but you can do four T2 to T3 trades. And because T2s are the rarest item, because you can only do two at once per uh, barter reset, two to two, two of two, uh, you want to try and get as many of the one to three trades as you can for T2 items, just because those are the ones you're limited on. But anyways, you're looking to go around and build up your supply of barter items. You want as many uh, stocked up as you can so you don't have to do full barter routes at once. Because each of these is a barter route. A barter route starts at a single T0 item, goes to a T1 item. That T1 item, so for example, Grilled Bird Meat will go for a Chewy Raw Gizzard. The Chewy Raw Gizzard will then pop up for the Conch Shell Ornament. The Conch Shell Ornament then trades for the Skull Decorated Teacup. And the Skull Decorated Teacup here will then trade over here for the Headless Dragon. And then the Headless Dragon can be traded up here for the Supreme Gold Candlestick. Now, do note this is not going to be the same all the time. You will not always get Headless Dragon for Supreme Gold Candlestick. Sometimes you'll get it for something such as the Amethyst Fragment. Sometimes you get the Statues tier. It changes each time, so you want a stock of each item, and the best place to stock up is Ilya Island, because Ilya Island, the storage there isn't really going to be used for much else. You can do Velia and you can do Port Fairy as well, but Ilya Island is a place that you don't really use the storage for anything else, so using the storage for barter goods is probably the best use for it, and also it's pretty central. It's right next to the T3, to T, uh, the, to the T2 to T3 trades. It's pretty nearby to a bunch of T4 to T5 trades, as well as the C coin trades. So stock up all your items there. You don't need to stock up T5s unless you're looking for the Carrick materials like I am. You can just sell them or trade them for C coins as soon as you need to. But stocking up every all the T1 to T4 items is a good idea. So as you stock up the items, the way you make money is simply you sell the T5 items for silver. You can see I've already got acquired 2.1 billion silver. Simply by selling T5 items, I haven't put any of my own silver into the Ilion storage. And yeah, it's pretty easy to make silver just by selling T5 items. Uh, what a lot of barters will do is they'll actually save T4 items um, as they go through their weeks. And then occasionally they'll do uh, what we call cashing out, which is when you focus purely on T5 items. Because there's a limited number of barters you can do per day. Bartering is restricted daily by two things, the barter refreshes and your parlay. Your parlay is every barter you do requires a number of parlay. You can see the bar parlay here. So if I do this trade, I'll use 10,852 parlay. And parlay is reduced by having a value pack running as well as your bartering level. If I open up my uh, character screen here, you can see I have a bartering level of professional one, which decreases my total parlay needed by 14%. So going back, you use parlay with each successful barter, and once you have enough routes, you will not have enough parlay available in order to do all the routes. You can get more parlay uh, by heating up item collection increase scrolls. Heating up one will give you 250,000 parlay, but you can only do one per every four hours, which is also the amount of time it takes for a barter reset. And they're pretty valuable, so you don't want to use them all that often. Now, the other restriction, apart from parlay, is once you've used all your parlay, you need to wait in order to do a bar to refresh. So a bar to refresh uh, is it'll reset all the available barters. It'll reset them all. Uh, each barter will be re-randomized, so each island will have different barters. Some islands will not have barters that used to have barters. Other islands will have barters when they didn't have barters. And uh, yeah, you just you reset it. There's two types of reset. Well, three types of resets. The normal is a regular refresh which has a four hour cooldown. The second is instant. Uh, you don't have to wait at all. You can cool down as soon as you use it. However, it costs two of your four available bar refreshes per day. This resets at, I believe it's around midnight local time, maybe offset by a couple hours. And the third is reducing the refresh cooldown, which takes 10,000 parlay to reduce your cooldown by one minute. So this is, you don't want to do the two barter cooldown. However, you have some available parlay left and you do want to get to your cooldown faster, you use the reduce refresh and it'll get there faster. So one second while I do, so in order to barter actually, so I'll quickly show this, 
You go to whichever island in your ship. You need to have the items in your ship hold. You don't want to be carrying them. You want it in your ship hold. And you can see they're pretty. They have a pretty hefty weight. A thousand for T5, eight hundred for T1 and T2. Uh, it's nine hundred for T3 and a thousand for T4 as well. So you have in your ship hold. You go to the island and you go to the barter on the island. Uh, so the barter over here is right here. You press anchor and then you press barter and you do. It's only one for one, so I could just exchange once, but continuous exchange is the exact same here. And that will exchange the item in your hold for the item that the barter is offering you. Explore consumes 100,000 of your ship's rations in order to explore the island. And you should always be doing this off cooldown. It's got a 20 minute cooldown, I believe. Because it can get you some pretty nice items, such as... Uh, I've got some something right here. Obsidian Crystal Bracelets, which are worth 50 million silver. I believe the biggest is worth 70 million and the smallest worth 10 million, as well as it gets you barter support boxes and some other pretty nice goodies. So once you're done with all that, you depart and you go for your next barters. Uh, for me, that is over here. I have four Supreme Oyster boxes, which I will be using to get 12 round knives, which will put my ship overweight because uh, my ship cannot hold all those items. Also, you can only take you cannot take barter items out of your hold while sailing. You can only take them out of your hold at uh, a wharf manager. So do note that you cannot just overweight yourself to underweight your ship again. You will have to get to an available wharf manager in order to uh, basically underweight your ship, take all the items off your ship. So while you're sailing, uh, I like to put on music. I like to do other stuff like write or watch TV shows. Because bartering is something you will need a abundance of time in order to really do successfully. It's not it's not AFK, but it's not really active either. It's more like semi-AFK, where you're at your computer, but you're not really playing Black Desert with all your devotion, like you would be if you were grinding or gathering or doing some other life skills. It's closer to cooking or alchemy, where you're just ch checking in every five minutes to reset your ship's course. And then uh, going back and doing whatever you're actually doing. So here I am. I'm just going to head over and do this barter. And yeah, bartering, it's a pretty good life skill. It makes you a lot of money. I've made all this money. So if I go back over to my Ilya storage over here, you can see my Ilya storage is currently worth 7.5 billion silver. And in addition to that, I've got almost 40,000 C coins, which is worth another roughly 4 billion, just under 4 billion, closer to 3 billion, I guess. Uh, and I've made all of that in about two months. I started this around January. I did my first stream where I bartered for the first time and was a total noob at it. And now I'm making millions a day. I make hundreds of millions a day, really. Um, it's really profitable. I make a lot of money. And it's pretty much AFK. Like, I don't have to actually work at the game like I would if I was grinding. I can just make my money, uh, chill out, and do other stuff on my other monitor. That's the other thing. If you're bartering, having a second monitor, it's not essential, but it is so convenient because you can always see what you're doing. But it's not essential. It's not something you need. It's just really convenient. And yeah, um, having a caravel is pretty nice. I'm going to make a video on how to get a caravel pretty soon. Uh, a caravel does involve bartering. You need, let me see if any of the items are up right now. You need stuff like this island tree coated plywood as well as this deep sea memory filled glue. Uh, and you also need to turn T1 items into... One second as I head all the way over to Port Rat, because this is where I store them, into Verdant Blackstones at any of the Ravinias at the wharfs. Uh, is there a Ravinia at the wharf? There's not. Oh, is there? No, there's not a Ravinia. Uh, any of the Ravinias at the wharf will turn one T1 item into a Verdant Blackstone, which you then trade in uh, to Ravinia for... No, you don't trade them in, sorry. You use them to upgrade your green gear for your sailboat and your frigate. And you get the plus 10 gear, and that's that'll help you make a caravel or a galleus. So, I arrived at my other island. I barter, continuous exchange, maximum quantity, uh, because my amount weight limit will be exceeded. And you can exceed up to 170% of your uh, mount's total weight. So I could go to about 18,000 weight, maybe close to 19,000. Uh, but once you're overweight, you can't do any more barters, except for a continuous exchange if you weren't overweight when you started it. So I did that, and now I can't do any more bartering. I also can't use any ship skills, and I'm going to be forced to slowly limp back to Ilya Island in order to deposit it all and do another barter. So on my way back, I'll show you quickly show you the barter refreshes. So refresh that. What I'm looking for are, yep, these brilliant rock salt ingots. So I'll go do those instead of refreshing again. 
And yeah, that's uh, basically the bartering life. You just you chill out, you barter, and you make some pretty nice cash. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I'll be doing some more in-depth bartering guides uh, later on, covering stuff such as making a caravel, uh, various bartering routes, and I'm also going to be including the bartering, uh, the number of barters you need to unlock the various routes in the uh, description of this video. So yeah, hopefully this helps you make some money, get out in the open ocean. It does have a decent investment. You do, do need about 300 to 400 million for the sailboat and a couple million at hand to buy your T0 items, such as Grilled Bird, early on. But once you've got that investment made, uh, bartering's pretty simple. I like having marketplace maids in order to get the items such as Grilled Bird to, uh, without having to go back to Velia or Ilia, or sorry, Velia or Portaferia. Velia, really, which is where the uh, marketplace is. But if you don't have marketplace maids, it's not the end of the world. Just operate a Velia and you'll be totally fine. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hope it helped. Subscribe if you liked it. And as always, have a good one.